The Safari Express is the fastest locomotive in the wilderness, but not fast enough to deliver all of the godly messages Ranger Reggie wants to distribute to his campers. So he's enlisted the help of his friend, the infamous inventor and engineer Jasper J. Johnson Jr. to see just how quickly he can make her fly down the rails. So let's stoke up the engine, crank up the speed and climb aboard as we deliver those inspiring letters aboard the Safari Express. have to call me Miss Johnson. You can call me Janet, or you can call me Jan, or you could call me JJ, or you could call me Junior, or you could call me JJ Junior, or you could call me JJ J Junior. But you doesn't have to call me Johnson. I am a counselor over at Camp Coconut, and guess what we did? Watson and I sneaked over to Drosselmeyer steam engine and put itching powder in his engineer boots. <laughs> and, then, and then we put ants in his Gatorade. <laughs> oh, man, what a surprise. Oh, speaking of surprises, Jasper doesn't exactly know what we did, and we don't want him to know. I even went through his mail to see if Drosselmeyer wrote to him. So, uh, oh, he comes now. Don't do, say do, do, a word. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, campers. Oh. Cousin Janet, what are you doing here? Nothing. Why? What did you hear? I didn't hear anything. I was just wondering. <laughs> it's not every day you have two Johnsons at Camp Venture. Oh, you don't have to call me Johnson. I, you can call me Janet. Sure. Or you can call me Jan. Or you could call me JJ. Or I could call you Junior. Or you could call me JJ Junior. Or I could call you JJ J Junior. But I, I doesn't have, have to call, call you Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Hey, how did you know I was going to say that? Well, it's sort of a family thing. <laughs> so, uh, did we get any mail? What? Uh, I don't know. How should I know? Why? What did you hear? I didn't hear anything. I just was looking for the mail. You're acting kind of strange today, Janet. Well, you know what? I'll check the mail myself. Mail call! Oh, <laughs> that's the signal. Oh, that means we got plenty of... Well, now that's strange. We, we always... That bell always means it's time to check the mail, and yet there's nothing in the box. It, Janet, do you have the mail? <laughs> mail? What mail? Oh, oh, this mail. I guess we did get mail. Here it is. Thank you. Let's see what God has to say to us today. Oh, this is from Paul's letter to the Romans. Listen to this. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. I didn't do it. What? What are you talking about? Is something bothering you, Janet? <laughs> Me? No. What? what? I didn't. I just... Why were you talking about confessing sins? Because it's in the Bible. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, you better turn that crank and bring down the Bible blimp. Oh, I love Bible time. <laughs> Let's find out today's letter. Oh, Janet, would you like to read the Bible? Do I have to? What? I mean, sure. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. I know that nothing good lives in me, and that is in my sinful nature. For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. Okay, you got me. I got you. Janet, what are you talking about? Oh, well, you, you gave me that verse because you know what I did. Oh, Janet Johnson Jr. Oh, you doesn't have to call me Janet. Now, 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 don't change the subject. You have been suspicious all day. I want to know what's going on with you. You don't, you mean you really don't know? No. I, that verse describes me perfectly. I want to do good things, but sometimes I do the opposite of the good I want to do. Well, cousin, that verse describes all of us. I mean, we all have done things wrong in God's eyes. That's called sin. Well, that's exactly what I did. Watson and I put itching powder in Drosselmeyer's boots. Oh, Janet, that was wrong. And we 
you put ants in his Gatorade? Oh, Janet Johnson, that is not nice at all. Oh, I know. I feel awful about it. Well, I'm going to have to have a talk about Watson and what he should do. But as far as your part in this, well, what you did was low, low, low. And sneaky. Uh-oh. I have a feeling this week's Creature Feature is a sneaky one. Whoa, well, let's find out. It's Creature Feature time! <laughs> Janet, there's the rhyme from Ranger Reggie. Would you like to read it? Uh, this critter's covered up with scales, but he has a very noisy tail. Hmm. Rattlesnake! Oh, I think you're right. I think I know what it is. What? It is a rattlesnake. That makes sense. And you know what? We don't have a rattlesnake, but we do have a snake that lives nearby in the tree. There. Oh, oh, I think I see him right now. Let me get here, little fella. Here we go. Oh, 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 Whew. wow. That hurt. Mm. Well, that really oh, hurt. Oh, wow. Wow. Cousin Jasper, mm. animals are really drawn to you. Yeah, well, that one drew blood. Oh, I'm so sorry. I think God was trying to teach me a lesson. Really? You really think so, Janet? Oh, well, isn't the serpent supposed to represent sin? Yes. Remember, kids? Which animal tempted Adam and Eve to sin in the Garden of Eden and eat the forbidden fruit? Yeah. Yeah, the snake, the serpent. You're right, it was a snake. Yeah, or a serpent. And remember, remember what God told that serpent? He said because of his sin, what did he have to do for the rest of his life? Who remembers? Anyone? Yes. Stay on the ground. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay, well, that, that Adam and Eve had to leave the garden, but the serpent had to crawl. Yeah. Yeah, oh, but he had to crawl yeah, in a special right. way. He had to crawl on his belly. Oh, that's mm. right. He did have to crawl on his belly for the rest of his life. Mm. Oh, that does it. I'm going to crawl on my belly for the rest of my life because I'm a sinner like that sneaky serpent. Wait, 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 oh. Janet, Janet, wait. We're all sinners, but we don't have to crawl on our bellies. We don't? No, Jesus died to pay for our sins. We who believe in Jesus are completely forgiven. He rescues everyone who believes in him from our old sinful ways, remember? Well, that's right. When we were sinned, we were punished by separation from God for all of time. But, but if we believe in him, he promises that we will be with him for all eternity. And he will we'll have his spirit living in us, which helps us choose to do the right thing. So we can choose to do the right thing? Well, sure. In fact, I think I know a Bible verse that makes that pretty clear. But in order to get it, we're going to have to have more power. So, Janet, jump on that scripture cycle. You start pedaling, and me and the kids will tell you when you reach Kathinga. You got it. All right, kids. Am How are we doing? Are we getting closer? Little fella, you got to go faster. Yeah, you got to go faster, too. All right, how we doing? There we go. Kathinga! You made it, Johnny. Good job. Go oh, now look. This is part of Paul's letter to the Galatians. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. You see? That's the fruit of the Spirit that lives inside of us. So I don't have to do bad things. Instead, I can choose love or, or kindness or, mm -hmm. or self-control. Yeah. Oh, geez, I got to go apologize to Drosselmeyer right away. Oh, and I should call up Watson and see if he wants to come with me. That's the spirit, Cousin Janet. You know what, kids? We should all choose to do the right thing by saying our campers code together. Well, Janet, would you like to lead us? Oh, I sure would. Okay. Come on, stand up, everybody. And raise your right hand and recite it after me. I will love God with all my heart. I will love God with all my heart. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will love my neighbor as myself. I will be a light wherever I go. I will be a light wherever I go. Well, we've got to go have an apology talk with Drothelmeyer, but before we leave, why don't we have Mr. Brian come lead us in the Camp Critter Song? Awesome, but to do that, I need two volunteers okay. to help me out. Would you help me first? Would you raise our flag? So first, go ahead and raise it up for us. 
Our serpent flag. Go ahead and keep raising it. Almost, Sneaky, almost. Slippery snake. Uh -huh. Awesome. Great job. Thanks so much. I need one more volunteer to come help us out. Be my engineer. Will you help me out, Matthew? Awesome. Come on up here, sir. Guess what? You get to be our engineer. Have you ever been a train engineer? No. Okay. Awesome. Well, this is what we need to do. We need to get the train started like this. Let's get it going. You got it? All right. But then also, we just learned about the serpent. So Ooh. what does a serpent make? What kind of sound does he make? <laughs> yes, exactly. Awesome. So let's sing our Camp Gooder songs. You ready to get us going? We can't see your face, Matthew. There we go. All right, you ready to get us going? Here we go. <laughs> A serpent slither by Jumped on the train Let out a cry Hiss, hiss, hiss I must admit we all have sinned Thank the Lord we're saved by him The serpent is here to lead the way Hiss, hiss, hiss The meerkat is here to lead the way Mew, mew, mew The love bird is here to lead the way Let's go to Camp Venture today. Oh, oh, oh. That was very good. Very good. Very good. I don't think a snake are very slow animals. I don't think they could possibly go really? faster than that. I don't know if we can. Can you? I think you can. Yeah. You think so? Chana? Yeah. Can you take us any faster, Matthew? Can you do it? Oh, yeah. I think you can. Yes, we can. All right, here we go. Lead the way. Mew, mew, mew. The bird is here to lead the way. Tweet, 